Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider. I'm Laura de la Corte, and we are here to talk about Sanctuary with Zachary Wagon. And how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Fine, thanks. So, my silly question is do you like Montepulciano? <laughs> You know, it's funny, I, uh, <laughs> Micah, who wrote the script, I think um, perhaps, uh, I remember at one point Micah saying, you know, that the, it's a nice word, it's a nice word to say, there's a lot going, there's a lot going on in that word. Um, I actually know almost nothing about wine. <laughs> My wine knowledge is basically zero, so I might like it, I don't know. <laughs> that was uh, only because I, uh, I come from this uh, kind of city near Montepulciano, so I found oh. it really interesting to see that in the movie. Yeah. But the things that I want to really to ask is, actually, uh, for real, my question is, since nothing is sacred, you know, uh, in sanctuary, um, what do you think is this fe ferocious relationship between the two main characters? How did you build it and where did it come from, the idea? Yeah. Well, uh, I'll answer the final part first. So where the idea started from, there were a couple of different points. For me, um, I had long been interested in the idea of making a film about a dominatrix. And what was interesting about making a film about a dominatrix was I think good uh, psychological thrillers, they need a paradox in order to run. Paradoxes tend to be at the heart of, I think, a lot of great movies. And there's a good paradox inherent to the role of a dominatrix because a dominatrix simultaneously <clears throat> has all the power over her client, but she also has none of the power over her client outside of the role play. Um, so I, Mike and I, Micah Bloomberg who wrote the film, he and I had been talking about putting something, uh, developing something, and I pitched him this very vague idea about a dominatrix. Um, and he told me, funnily enough, that he had written a one-act play a number of years earlier about a dominatrix and her client in a hotel room. So he had had a similar idea that was of interest to him. And so we decided to develop this, this idea together and we started from there. Um, that's where the idea started from. And then um, as far as why the relationship between the two characters is uh, resonant the way that it is, um, you know, it's interesting. I, I hadn't considered it in those specific terms, but I think what's powerful about the relationship, perhaps without veering too much into a direct interpretation of the film, is that um, these characters on one level uh, need something from one another but on a different level, um, for Hal at least, he needs to not have a relationship with this character, but she also provides him with something that he needs. So anytime you have a conflict like that where it's a dilemma, right? You, you both need to be with this person and you also need to not be with them, that is powerful um, because it's real, it's graspable, and uh, how do you navigate that? I think it's inherently entertaining to watch a character try to navigate an impossible uh, dilemma. I think we have the last question because <laughs> <laughs> it's very, you know, in a hurry. Well, uh, I was very fascinated by the character of Margaret. So my question is, how did you manage to direct her? Because she can be so very, you know, ferocious, but then is some kind of sweet. And then again, she's very harsh, very powerful. How did you manage to do all this work with well, her? Well, she's a phenomenally gifted uh, actress. I mean, I talked a little bit with her in the beginning about the different affects that the character would embody uh, over the course of the story. You know, in this section, she's a little more like this. In that section, she's a little more like that. But that was basically the beginning and the end of it. I mean, I think the, the real thing is when you hire phenomenally talented actors like Margaret and Chris, you will get really great performances. <laughs> so... Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you. Fred Film Radio, Laura de la Corte, thank you. Thank you.